Remember the time when you first started learning Salesforce and you were confused that what are accounts, what are leads, what are opportunities. But after understanding that accounts are used to track the companies or your clients with which you deal and the deals are tracked into opportunities and leads are your potential customers. Then you must have realized that this is how Salesforce works. But wasn't it difficult? Yes, it was. But what if I say that you can reduce this effort for your users, for the users of your organization to understand that what are accounts and what are opportunities and what are leads and what are other standard objects by just renaming tabs and field names of your standard objects. Let's see how. Yes, you heard it right. You can change the name of standard objects and the fields presented to that standard objects according to your organization. And that is possible by renaming the tabs and field names. Uh, let's say for an example, your organization has accounts. Accounts are the companies with which you deal or with which uh, like to whom you provide your services and products. In your organization, the terminology which is used for uh, accounts is clients or companies. In that situation, your users will be confused that what are these accounts? We know companies and clients, but we do not know what are accounts. In that situation, you'll have to train them. But if you do not want to train them in that situation, you can simply change the name of accounts tab to companies or clients. Like doing that, it will be easier for your users to understand the features of Salesforce and for you, the uh, effort of training them will be reduced significantly. Uh, let's take an, another example to understand this. Like for example, for accounts, your com organization uses companies and same goes with opportunities. Like uh, in opportunities, your uh, company's terminology is deals. Like this one, this deal, this deal, and this deal, and this, this and that deal. So for opportunities, you can change the name to deals so that your users can understand it easily. And like you can also change the fields present over there, all the standard fields. This functionality or this feature is not available by default. Like whenever you go to that particular object or that particular field and when you try to edit it, it's not possible. But you can do that using this renaming tabs and field names. Let's see how. Now let's see that how we are going to change the name over here of accounts uh, to companies and cases to issues and opportunities to deals. So to do that, we'll simply go to the setup menu and but wait, not all of us. And in the quick find box, we just have to type in rename and you'll find rename tabs and labels click on it and find the tab uh, of which you want to change the name like over here it's accounts and I'll simply click on edit and change it to company and companies like this and does it start with a vowel sound no so I'll uncheck this and click on next and over here, as you can see that some fields are already changed, like, uh, like it was initially account division and now it's company division, account name, now it's company name. And if you still want to change any other field, you can just uh, change it like this, like billing country of the company, like this, whatever, whatever label you want to change, you can simply change it over here like this. And as you can see over here, everything that included account is changed to company by default. And if you still want to change it or edit it uh, in, a, in another way, you can simply like change it over here. And if it starts with the vowel sound, you can simply select this checkbox anywhere over here. And if it doesn't start with the vowel sound, you can simply leave it as, uh, leave it, as it is. And then click on save. For cases, we'll go to edit cases, edit, and over here we can simply change it like this. Issues, and does it start with all sound? Yes. And then next, over here as you can see, issue currency, issue division, issue name, whatever the thing is, you can change it as you like. It's similar to the earlier page, and we'll do the same for opportunities. For opportunities, I'll set the name as deal 
and the full name as deals and then i'll simply click on save because i don't want to change any of the field names over here if you want to change it simply click on next and change it otherwise leave it as it is and now let's go to the sales app again and let's see what the name is Here it is companies. Here cases are changed to issues and opportunities are changed to deals. And when we go to these tabs, uh, let's say we are uh, we want to create a new deal, like new opportunity changed to new deal also, and like opportunity name, company name, it's like this. And if you want to change this opportunity name to deal name, then you can simply do it as shown earlier. Okay? And for accounts like companies. New company. It's company name, not account name anymore. So this is how we are gonna do it. Now let's see that what all points do you need to consider while renaming the tab names and the field labels. So the first point is reset is not available for custom objects. You cannot rename the custom objects using this functional custom objects tabs using this functionality. Though you can do that by editing that custom object and changing its plural label. And the second point is tab name will be unique. Obviously, no two tabs can have a same name. Otherwise, there'll be ambiguity, na. So you need to consider this point also. Now, the third point is forecast tab is not available for renaming. That forecast tab or the forecast object tab is not available for renaming. You have to uh, like make sure that if you want to change, like you cannot change the forecast tab's name. That's it. Uh, fourth point is some standard fields such as created by last modified by are purposely omitted from renaming because they track system information. Yes, these are the fields which cannot be renamed because these track the system information of a particular record. Let's see some more points. Fifth point is changing the label will not affect the API name of the objects. Yes, exactly. If you'll change accounts to companies, it will not be changed in the API. In the API, it will be account only. It will not be converted to company. So, uh, like if you are a developer, you need to take care of that. If the tab name is changed, the, still you have to do the coding according to the standard objects API name, not according to the new tabs label. And the next point is changing the tab label will change the names almost everywhere, including connect for outlook. Yes, almost everywhere. What it means is that wherever the uh, like that name appears in the UI, uh, like including connect for outlook. All of the like, I mean, at all of those places, it will be changed. The name will be changed all at all of the places. But you need to manually change other items like report names, record type, list view names, etc. In order to match the name with the tab name. Okay. Uh, like if, if you have set any uh, record type or uh, you, if you have created any report like account with this, account with that, account record type one, account record type two, you need to manually change that. And in uh, like, uh, I mean, in list views also you have to manually change that. It will not be changed automatically because it's nowhere bounded to that particular tab's name. And the next point is, may have you may have a problem in merge templates because some of them use label instead of name. Yes. In the merge templates, sometimes it uses API names and sometimes it uses labels. So you may face some issues with that. So you need to take care of that what actually the uh, tab name is and what the API name is and if you're facing the uh, problem with the API name just use the tab name and it will work and that's all what you need to take care of while renaming a tab and a field name so now what are you waiting for just hit this subscribe button and watch the video every week related to Salesforce on this channel and especially if you're watching this video on LinkedIn or Facebook there's a link down in the description or in the comments just hit that link go to the YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button to get weekly videos all related to Salesforce in the Salesforce hall so, see you next week. Until then, bye-bye. Take care.